eBay's gonna say, Hi, my name is Michael from Men's Finest and welcome to yet another awesome video about how to buy on eBay, what to think about, what not to think about. It's gonna be super simple, super easy. Let's get to it. First of all, when you uh, act on eBay, you have to exercise self-discipline. Setting up a price limit to an auction item you look at and never even look how much the auction is going or you will be tempted to raise your price upwards. If someone outbids you uh, with time running on the clock, stick to your guns and be prepared to lose a deal rather than getting stuck into bidding war frenzy. That's number one. Number two, never put a bid on an item that you really want to buy. Add it to your watch list and wait. Self-discipline, remember? And number three is target non-professional sellers. When you come across a seller that sold thousands over the years, of course, he's gonna try to sort of squeeze you on price. He's gonna make all those excuses why you have to pay the price that he listed the item for. However, when you go to a private seller, very, very often they are probably letting it go for a slacky less because they just want to get rid of that goddamn thing. Number four is know your sizes, especially when you buy shoes, suits, sweaters. Not every medium is the same. Know your sizes. And number five, do your research uh, when it comes to brands. You can go to places like John Lewis or Harrods or any other online high-end retailer to see what they uh, what they're stocking. Go back to eBay and search for those particular manufacturers and particular items. That way, you can actually snap something uh, for, a, for a tenth of the price. Because someone has bought it um, in Harrods or, or in John Lewis, they, you know, six months ago, they don't like it, they don't use it anymore, they put it on eBay. And there is bonus tip number six. Know your rights. You can always return the item. We've done a separate video about my issues on eBay. You can go and check it out. Because you can always return the item. That's the bottom line. Even if people tell you that it's not returnable, your consumer right protects you when you buy goods and services. This means you have rights by law which shop and service provider can't change. This should be taught at school because knowing your basic statutory rights would help a lot. There is this thing called sad fart rights. Sad fart rights? Let me explain what that is. Satisfactory as described and fit for purpose and lasts reasonable length of time. There is also new addition to our statutory rights right now because the Consumer Rights Act from 2015 change our rights to reject something faulty and be entitled to a full refund, in most cases, from a reasonable time to a fixed period, which in most cases is 30 days. So next time when you come to eBay auctions, someone says, well, you cannot return that item. Well, you can, because that's your statutory right. On eBay, you have to be very careful what do you actually choose when you want to return your item. Make sure it's set to a specific parameters like item not as described or item damaged or faulty. This is the only reason you can actually raise the case. If you just raise the case on eBay that you want to return it because you don't like it, eBay's going to say, F off. So know all those six rules I've mentioned to you. Know your statutory rights on eBay execute them when you have to, and basically, happy bidding, stay stylish, see ya.